Hello, welcome to Learn English Fluently Academy. Please remember to check our website learnenglishfluently.com where you will find our video on adjectives. In today's video, we will learn about prepositions. What is a preposition? A preposition is a word that tells you where or when something is in relation to something else. Typically, this involves introducing a new element or indicating aspects like time, space, or direction. Let's look at the various ways to utilize prepositions. Some examples of prepositions are between, on, in, at, for, of, of, to, until, with prepositions often connect with at least one object, often a noun. They are generally positioned within a sentence rather than at its end. For instance, instead of saying, who are you talking to? You might phrase it as, to whom are you talking? Let's explore the prepositions in, on, and at. Now that you have identified on as a preposition, did you realize that there are various types of prepositions? In English, we categorize prepositions into time, space, direction, and introduction. Simple prepositions like in, on, and at fall into this mix. Diversifying your preposition knowledge allows you to construct sentences accurately. Let's dive in. Let's start with time. Prepositions relating to time include in. For instance, I will see you in a few minutes. We also have from. The meeting is scheduled from noon until 1 p.m. We have through. The meeting continued through lunch. Now, in terms of space, at and over are space-related prepositions. For instance, let's meet at the supermarket. It is beside the convenience store. Beside is the preposition in the sentence. It is just over there. Over is the preposition. We can also talk about direction. Directional preposition consists of, we have behind. She is behind the tree. Into, she follows the path into the woods. To, she heads to her grandmother's house. So it deals with direction. We also have the introductory prepositions, which include after. After the rain, we slept peacefully. During. During the rain, we stayed awake. Under. Under the blanket, we waited for the rain to stop. Let's go to prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases or prepositional sentences often begin with prepositions. For example, at last, I can enjoy the pizza. At last is the preposition in this case. I will finish the puzzle by myself. By myself is a preposition in this case. For example, here is a drawing of a cat. For example is a prepositional phrase in this sentence. In addition to the cake, she brought cookies. In addition to is a prepositional phrase in this sentence. For the last example, by the way, do you like me? By the way is the prepositional phrase in this sentence. Would you like to enhance your English skills but have never found the time or motivation to do so? We have the perfect solution for you. Online individual English lessons conveniently from the comfort of your own home. With our personalized lessons, you can learn English flexibly, tailored to your pace and unique learning style. With highly qualified native speaking teachers, we will guide you through every aspect of the English language, from the basics to advanced conversation. Our online individual lessons are convenient and adaptable to your schedule. 
whether you're looking to improve your language skills for work, travel, or simply to enrich your life, the Learn English Fluently Academy is here to help you achieve your goals. What are you waiting for? Book your trial lesson now. Find the link in the description. Let's go to double prepositions. Double prepositions are formed by merging two separate prepositions to form a new word. For example, inside, into, onto, throughout, upon, without. Let's look at some examples of sentences with these prepositions, double prepositions. I followed him into the supermarket. Please, it's a joint word. I followed him into the supermarket. From the attic, he climbed onto the roof. Throughout the town, I chased him. Once upon a time, he broke my heart. He left without me. Now let's talk about compound prepositions. Compound prepositions are a combination of two or more words that function as a single preposition. Let's look at some examples. According to, according to the plan, we meet tomorrow. Along with, she came along with her friends. Because of, we postponed the event because of the rain. Instead of, I will have tea instead of coffee. On behalf of, I am speaking on behalf of the team. Due to, the flight was delayed due to bad weather. We also have out of. He picked a book out of the shelf. In between, she sat in between two friends. Last but not least, up to. The decision is up to you. Now let's go to the last but not least, participle preposition. Participle prepositions are prepositions that consist of a present participle, that is ing form, or a past participle that is ed or irregular form, combined with preposition. For example, considering. Considering the weather, we decided to stay indoors. During, during the concert, she took some beautiful photographs. We have given. Given the circumstances, it is the best decision. Concerning, the report concerning the project is due tomorrow. For the last example, we have pending. Pending approval, the project can't proceed. Great. We have reached the end of this lesson. In the next video, we will learn about nation and nationalities in English. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platform where you will find new and released content. All the links are in the description and on our website learnenglishfluently.com where you will find educational materials and exercises on all topics. The link is also in the description. Bye!